Welcome to this new color grading tutorial where we'll be doing the matrix style color grade. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this and then one from scratch, both using no LUTs. So I'm using this color grading three clip if you're following along with the course. So I'm just going to copy it over here by option clicking and dragging it over to this part of the timeline. Now this is up a little bit because we added a letterbox overlay. I'll do that later on. But just with this up here, I reset the position with this reset parameter button. I'm going to add an adjustment layer. Now, sort of the easiest way to do this, which is super powerful in Premiere Pro now, is the color match feature. So I took this screen cap that was online and I import it into Premiere Pro. With the color wheels and match button open, click comparison view. Next, you want to on the left side for reference, just slide over on this timeline slider to the point where you have the screen cap example right there. And then all you have to do is click apply match. And that applies the colors that Premiere Pro sees in here to this clip. Now the colors look good, but the exposures don't. So I'm going to make some adjustments to the exposures, bringing up the midtones, bringing back up the highlights, and the shadows, the shadows are okay. What this does pretty well is it makes sort of all of the non-skin tone colors that matrix green. And you can really see a good comparison because from this split screen view of the cement in the background to the road, it's pretty much spot on in terms of the color of green that it's changed. To really sell this, if we're going for that matrix style, we can add the 235 CinemaScope overlay, which is also available in your downloads. And that is a pretty darn good quick way to do this. Now, if you're doing this from scratch and you find other movies, you can replicate this. Take a screen cap, import it, use the apply match, and hopefully it works. Sometimes it doesn't. We saw that earlier in the course in the basic color grading section that it doesn't always work. If we're doing this from scratch though, I want you to understand really what's happening. So what I'm going to do is copy this again over this color clip I'm going to, oh, it looks like actually the color grading was applied to the clip itself, not the adjustment layer. I always do that. So I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna copy this adjustment layer over, which doesn't have anything on it. Uh, just for kicks and giggles, I'll add the letterboxing on the top and bottom already. And then I have to change the reference. I'm gonna just go to the next clip with this next clip edit button just so I can see that up as a reference. I think that's a good thing to have up there. So what would I be doing to this clip? Well, I would be making it green, right? So in basic correction, you can say, oh, I'm just gonna take my tint slider and drag it green, and hey, that does a decent job. But what's different about this color grade versus the actual matrix grade is that the skin tones are actually pretty normal. You have a little bit of a green tint to it. But here, when we just apply this tint slider, that's a very beginner way to do it that doesn't look that great. So what we're going to do is first in our curves, we're gonna add a little bit more of a contrast with the RGB curve. We're just gonna add a little bit of contrast here. And then with the green curve, we're just going to bring that up just, just a little bit, not a ton, but just a little bit. You can even make a little curve like this where we bring it up in the shadows and then back down in the highlights just a little bit so that it's applying more to the shadows of this clip and not to the highlights where the skin tone is. Next, I'm going to go to color wheels and match. And here in the midtones, I'm going to push that green even more. And here's where you can sort of scroll up and down or click and drag up and down until you find the right color of green because it's sort of like a blue green. And same with the shadows, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. And with the highlights, I'm actually gonna push the highlights back up into the yellow. 
Now we're getting a little bit too much right here. So you can see that this is all minor adjustments that we're making, playing around with it. And that apply match feature is actually really the easiest way to do this. All right, so that's that's looking pretty good. It might be a little bit too green. So there's different ways you can do that. You say, okay, it's too green, it's not blue enough. So what can we do? We can play around with these color wheels or we can go to our basic adjustment and add a little bit more blue to it. But this is applying blue to everything, even the faces. So say we do this, we go back down to a better match right there. What I want to do is reverse this effect that's being applied to our faces with this slider, with our color wheels slider, and everything else by doing an HSL secondary adjustment. So with HSL secondary, I'm going to set the color to the skin tone. I'm going to turn this on so I can see what it's selecting. Not selecting much right now. So what I'm going to do is expand these sliders just a little bit until we have mostly just our face being selected. I'm going to blur it quite a bit. Something like this is starting to be okay. I'm okay with selecting some of the background as well. And then here what I'm going to do is bring this back to red, yellow, sort of something like this. We're doing the opposite of what we were doing before with the blue and the green, whoops, by putting this up in the red and yellow, okay? So now if we play through this clip, we're getting a pretty solid look because we're getting that matrix green, but we're also getting that matrix sort of yellow orange as well. Might've gone a little bit too far with that Let's just decrease it just a little bit that way. Or what you could do is just use a little desaturation adjustment right here. Blur it out even more so it blends in even better. That's pretty darn good. All right, so here's our manual adjustment. Here is the automatic adjustment. It looks like there's a lot more contrast that I had in the automatic. So maybe back up to the curves for this adjustment. Let's go back to our RGB curve and add a little bit more contrast. And that's looking pretty good. Again, here's another way you can do something. If you take the blue, you can increase or decrease the blue here which adjusts, adjusts the green as well. I feel like the greens are a little bit too saturated now. So what you could also do is go to hue saturation, select your greens and desaturate just a little bit. Okay, something like that looks pretty good. All right, so hopefully by now you see a lot of the different processes that go into grading and trying to match a look like this. You are using a combination of tools. There's not just one right way to do it. And hopefully you're getting more confident as you go through this course in being able to grade your own footage. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another lesson.